What is going on my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Welcome back to the channel. I am going to give you a little rundown of Tia's Studio 12. I jump into it. I want to show you um, this Christmas tree worm rock I added here. It's just looking, whoa, fan freaking tastic. Really, really nice. And I'm getting, there's cool colors. A little bit of red, a little orange, a little blue, a little green. Awesome little piece. Okay. Our six gallon Pico is having some hair algae issues and I'm actually going to let it get a little bit worse than this. I want to kind of allow for a hair algae sort of outbreak to happen and then I want to show you how we clean it up. So, man, oh man, this thing is just looking awesome. I will link in the description below where you can find one of these aquariums and I'll give you a little rundown. It's running a Reef Casa Halo on it. Proofs in the pudding. The light's doing an awesome job growing corals. I think the Ghani and flower pot look better in this tank than anywhere else in the store. I don't know what it is about this, but they're just longer and healthier and happier. Like even here in one of our larger coral bed systems, they look good. They look happy. Um, these ones look, mm, actually these ones look okay. Not like, not like the ones in Tia's tank here. So this tank is 12 gallons. It measures 16 inches by 15 inches by only, I believe it's only 10 inches tall. Oh, look how, how do we get our super clean glass? It's with this shout out to Flipper. You guys make a very, very nice scraper. Okay, I'm gonna give you a rundown sort of what she's got going on here in terms of corals because she has got a lot. It's probably on the upper limits of what you wanna stock for fish too. Not to get sidetracked, I know I just said corals and now I'm talking about fish. We have one clownfish regular oscillaris and then down here there is a rainford goby i believe oh a little camera shy hello mr rainford goby little tanks little fish they make really good um well suited fish from for a tank like this and then we just added over here a captive bred chalk bass from our friends at ora we got in a new shipment of fish and they look great. They made the, the trip from Florida all the way here to Toronto. Yeah, if you don't know, we are shooting from Toronto. Okay, I think that's it for fish. She might have a dragonette in here somewhere, but it looks like it's hiding. Oh, check out the urchin. In terms of cleanup crew, it's there's a lot in here. That's why it's staying so clean. There's no algae. Urchins do a really good job. And it looks like he's picked up a cowrie. There's some sand sifting conches here on the bottom. Keep the sand nice and clean. I see a gold ring cowrie. She's added over there. I keep saying she. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Tia, the manager here um, in the store. This is her tank. Oh, it looks like she's got two urchins up top. There's a tuxedo urchin on the smaller side, which is nice. And then I see some astrias sort of mixed and littered throughout the tank. These are good sort of all around cleaners. They'll keep your glass clean. Um, rock clean, not so much on the sand, and I know she's got some Nasarius snails hiding somewhere under the sand bed. I can kind of see the head of one there. Okay, now let's get into the corals, now that that is all done. Oh, and there's a starfish, okay. Blastomusas, looks like she's kind of starting a little blasto garden. I don't know what happened here. That is not a happy blasto. He was on his last limb, there's a little, little bit of flesh left but yeah he's a goner looks like she's starting to do a blasto garden mixed into a mushroom garden and tia is definitely a mushroom fanatic she's on lunch right now i should have waited for her to come back to shoot this video but it was kind of quiet in the store nice array of different this is disco soma disco 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 we say disco short form oh another one there in the back the red riding hood man she's got to have eight or nine different types in here this is probably the most unusual one right here and then even next to it, the green lightning. This is kind of a funky one. Green with white and gold stripes. So mushrooms, super easy. You see, she's got them lower down in the tank. You don't want to give them low light, low flow. We're not using any power head in here. We're just using the stock Reef Casa pump that it came with. And then we've upgraded the flow to this dual RFG, which is offered um, as a direct connect. So you just grab this kit. This is a single one and it comes with an adapter. So it just fits right onto that. So that's it for flow, which is nice. Um, it keeps the tank really clean. There's nothing to look at but, you know, the corals. You're not, you're not distracted by any hardware or large pumps in the tank. Um, looks like she's got some nice rhodactus here. This is pretty funky. We don't see too many blue corals. And this is a blue rhodactus. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. This is a bleached one over here. I think this was the magic carpet mushroom but that is not a good sign. So it looks funky, it looks cool. Anytime you see a coral that's white like that with maybe a couple exceptions like uh, 
Maybe pipe organ would be the one exception where you can actually find some that are white. I had some. Oh, right there, pipe organ. See, it's actually white and that's a healthy color. So I can't really think of too many other corals. Matt, what else can you find in white that is healthy besides pipe organ? What other coral you can find in white that isn't dying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, true. Actually some leathers. This is sort of on the whiter side. Oh, right there. Pipe organ. See? It's actually white and that's a healthy color. So I can't really think of too many other corals. Matt, what else can you find in white that is healthy besides pipe organ? What other coral you can find in white that isn't dying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, true. Actually some leathers. This is sort of on the whiter side. Right there, yeah. That's a white cinularia. So some leather corals, sort of on the whiter side. But usually white, no good. Avoid white corals. White corals means not happy, not healthy. Over here looks like the beginning of a nice acan garden. Some golden acans, golden Star Trek acans. Some other, I want to avoid the word rainbow. You guys know that on the channel, I try my best not to use that word. Um, I just think that it's been hoard out, for lack of a better term. It's just becoming meaningless. Everything is rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. But this is getting close. If I was going to use it, we're getting close. So I see green in the mouth, uh, followed by blue, and then pink and orange throughout the skirt, and back to blue. So we're getting there, four or five colors. If you want to call it rainbow, you, you call it rainbow, but I won't. I'm going to call it unique. Some more egg cans up this side. And the rock work, man, she's done such a cool job. Check this out. Kind of like breaks... Uh, up through here and then continues again. This is a custom made piece of rock. Oh, speaking about custom rock, Reef Rock Philippines. What do we think about this guys? Maybe second comment of the day, Reef Rocks Philippine. Um, we have this rock here from them. It's pretty funky. You know, these are supposed to look, I guess, like they're floating when they're underwater. I don't know how they're gonna look when they get covered in coralline. It's not the most natural looking rock, but it's definitely attention grabbing. It's already coming purple. There's lots of room in here for like, I don't know, shrimps and fish and lots of life. It is funky. Yeah, it is a really cool rock. I do like these. I don't know how I feel about the floating, but I definitely like, you hear me talk about scaping, um, anything that's flat. So this is super easy to go and glue stuff to. You'd have Bonsai no trouble. Style. Bonsai, yeah. So not the most natural looking, but definitely attention grab. But uh, I, I'm very boring when it comes to rock work. Like that, that's what I do, two islands. That's the extent of my rockscaping abilities to freaking island. So she's done a really nice job. It's just Marco Rock and then she's used uh, BRS glue along with Instaset and it's many, many little pieces just painstakingly glued together. If you live locally and you want one, she can make one for you. They are not cheap. Looks like there's a massive mushroom here in the back. And I think she's starting uh, a little zoa garden up the right side. This is gonna be really cool to watch this fill in. So looks like some candy apple reds. A pink zombie, some colossus, some spellbinders, um, golden revolvers, draculas. This is definitely a tia coral here. That's very much like her to take something weird like a hydnophora and then just go and throw it in the back. She's, um, yeah, very tia. Oh, what do I see there? Some golden little encrusting flower pots. You see that behind these nicer ones? So this is really the star attraction of the tank. You get this nice movement here from the um, Alves and Ghanis. I'm distracted by a little sexy shrimp. Look at him waving his butt. Shake your ass. Well, watch yourself. That is a, why do they call them sexy shrimps? Because they shake their butt, just like that. I don't know who named it that. And I think I see a little hydroid. Oh, what are you? Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, Nemo's trying to eat it. I think you just try to eat it, but I gotta ask her what her secret is. Don't eat that. Those are not good. Hydroids, no good. Um, I, for me, it's low flow and medium light. Like just gently waving like that. Just enough. You don't want too much that they can't open and they get beat around by the current. And you don't want too little that they're gonna get um, detritus building up on, on their body. So she's got a really cool collection of different colors. They're all frag size, so I don't know how this is going to look when they grow out. And these are alveopore, as you can tell from the number of tentacles. Okay, I might get this wrong, but I'm almost positive. Alveopora have 12, and Ganiopora have 24. Matt's not sure either. I'm almost positive. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you count the tentacles. So 
There you can see one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, this would be a good time to grab the macro lens. Man, this thing is so cool. It's like a microscope attached to the camera. It's quite heavy and expensive. I think it's a couple thousand bucks we paid for this thing. So you can see there a little bit better. Um, they have 12 tentacles, and that's how you tell the difference. Personally, I find Alveopora's a little bit easier to keep, but I believe that in the Ganipora family, there's 20 or 22 subspecies. Uh, don't quote me on that. Go and watch a Tidal Gardens video. I think, I think I'm remembering it. I don't know. My memory's fading with, uh, with age. That's what happens when you turn 30. Some red, ruby, ruby, very nice ones in there. And then some pink. She's done a great job mixing the colors around. Man, just fantastic. This is probably one of the nicer ones. It's like a two-tone, starting with yellow and then finishing on pink. This, we're all from Indonesia, so I'm going to be going to Indonesia at the end of January. Oh, I just found another fish. Wow, she's really pushing it. Hello, who are you? Looks like a dotty back, uh, captive bred, so definitely less aggressive than some of the wild ones. My camera's having trouble focusing. Oh, okay, she has more fish than we thought of. In terms of maintenance on a tank like this, water change I find is really, really key. And the less fish you keep, the easier it's going to keep because easier it's going to be to keep the tank because less nutrients, um, less feeding, less nitrate, less phosphate, all of the stuff that comes with keeping fish. But it's boring. You can't, you can, I mean, you could do whatever you want. You could keep just corals in the tank. We have a lot of staff here in the store. So like I always say on the channel, do as I say, don't do as I do. This is definitely pushing it for the upper limits of a tank like this. I think responsibly one to two fish, maybe a pair of clowns, maybe one other little one like our goby friend over here. Cleanup crew, again, very important. You can see she's got two urchins, probably a dozen snails. Um, I see some hermits in here as well. And then for filtration, we're just using the Reef Casa filter floss in the back, change it out twice weekly. And same thing for the carbon, but we change it out every, every three to four weeks. Okay, I think that's it. If you got any questions about this aquarium here, you can always shoot us an email or check them out at reefcasa.com. That's R-E-E-F-C-A-S-A. Dot com. Um, they do come as complete kits, so if you're looking to get in the hobby, maybe start your very first saltwater reef tank, you can get it with everything you need right out of the box, set it up, plug and play, makes it super, super easy, and they do ship internationally. I think that's it for today's video. I thank you very much for watching, first one of 2023, and there's going to be a lot more to come at the end of this month going to Indonesia, and cannot wait to bring the camera and make some videos there. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching again, and have a nice day or afternoon, or maybe even morning, wherever you're watching from. Never stop reefing. Goodbye for now.